Hi there. I would like to tell you a little about hyperbaric oxygen therapy, also known as HBO or HBOT. A therapy you might not have heard of, but which can cure and bring relief to a lot of you folks out there. So please, take a seat, give me a little of your time, and I will tell you what it is and how it can help you or your relatives. Personally, the first time I heard the term HBOT, I thought I'd stumbled on some advanced space technology. But as I found out later, the history of HBOT goes back to the 16th century. But leaving history behind us, let us explore one fact which almost always goes unnoticed, though it's right under our noses. I think all of us as children heard the saying, you must eat to grow up big and strong. Be a fireman. Be handsome. I don't want to argue with our mums and grandmas, but they only told us half the story. Without one other ingredient, only 5% of the energy stored in food can be used by the body. Do you know what ingredient? Still puzzled? Okay, then let me give you a hint. It is invisible, odorless. It is the symbol O2. Yes, you got it. It's oxygen. Overlooked, taken for granted, yet invaluable for our lives, oxygen is not only a fuel for our bodies, it can also do a lot more. And here we come right back to HBOT. The therapy treatment itself will take us into a machine called a hyperbaric chamber. You might have seen it on TV in connection with deep sea diving accidents. Inside the hyperbaric chamber, we breathe 100% pure oxygen, in contrast to only about 21% that is present in the Earth's atmosphere. And most importantly, it is at a much higher pressure than normal. The pressure may vary by the diagnosis being treated, but it can be up to three atmospheres the equivalent to being 20.1 meters deep under the water. Thanks to this specific environment, various unusual effects occur. For example, the average adult consumes almost 2.7 kilograms of O2 a day, of which only 900 grams go into the bloodstream. In a hyperbaric chamber with double the atmospheric pressure, we breathe double the number of molecules. But remember, with HBOT, we use pure O2. This results in breathing 10 times the regular amount of oxygen. So in one hour, we can inhale 1,100 grams. Red blood cells instantly fill up with oxygen, and the leftover O2 dissolves directly into the blood plasma. In a few minutes, all this extra oxygen builds up tissue oxygen levels far above normal, even in damaged hypoxic tissues, which helps healing. Among other effects we should mention, and ones you should ask your doctor about, are decrease in swelling and inflammation, promotion of growth of new blood vessels, increase in the body's ability to fight infections. Helping the body discharge toxins and metabolic waste products. Acceleration of healing rate. We can say that the combination of high oxygen concentration and high pressure 
basically transforms the oxygen into an effective drug. This drug, when used properly and in combination with conventional therapies and treatments, can bring noticeable results in only 12 to 40 sessions, depending on the diagnosis. And when should you think about hyperbaric oxygen therapy? I would recommend to look into finding more information if you or your relatives suffer from carbon monoxide poisoning, crush syndrome, gas embolism, decompression sickness, anaerobic or mixed bacterial anaerobic infection, diabetic foot lesion, non-healing wounds secondary to inflammatory, radio-induced manifestations, severe burns, strokes, diabetes and cardiac diseases, autism, and others. If you're interested in knowing more, you can start at hbot.g7oz.org. Be healthy and be happy.